What's going on YouTube? Ryan back from Dopamon again, and it's hockey prospect season, which is the first sign that hockey is starting to return. One of the first signs of fall. NHL teams are playing in different prospect tournaments starting today and most lasting through the weekend. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs start theirs in Traverse City, Michigan tonight against the Dallas Stars, and will also play games against the best prospects from Columbus Blue Jackets, Detroit Red Wings, and St. Louis Blues. Leafs come into this tournament with a crammed 27-man roster, and I'm going to go through all these players and tell you a little bit about them because I'm pumped to watch these games. So without further ado, let's get started. And we will start off with goaltenders. First, first off here we have Luke Cavalin, we have Keith Petrozelli, and we have Marco Constantini. Um, Luke, Cavallin, Luke Cavallin and Keith Petrozelli are the guys who are signed to minor league contracts. Uh, they both signed their... AHL deals um, last season, or sorry, Cavalin signed his in this summer after last season. Petrozelli signed it before. Anyway, Cavalin signed by the Marlies, not the Leafs, on June 6, 2022. Two year deal in the AHL. He's 21 years old. He's a British born Canadian, uh, British born Canadian if, who was born in Swindon, England. So he's an English dude. Uh, yeah, he'll start the season probably in the ECHL along with Petruzzelli. Petruzzelli uh, is entering his second season with the Maple Leafs organization. He split time between the Marlies and the Growlers last year, and he had some decent numbers. Petruzzelli posted a 16-6-1 record and 9-27 goals uh, save, save percentage and a 2.01 goals against average in 23 games with the Growlers. And in five appearances with the Marlies, he had a 9.02 save percentage and was 3-1 and one with a 3.12 goals against. Both pretty big guys. I like both of these players. Luke Cavillin last year played the majority of his games with the Flint Firebirds. He spent all of his time with the Flint Firebirds. And a pretty good save percentage with Flint, actually. 36-14-4 and four is a save percentage of 9-10 and a 9-21 in the playoffs. So he's these two are my starting goalies. And the other one here we have is Marco Constantini. Constantini is one of the the invitees to this tournament. There are six of them, I believe. He's not signed to either an NHL or a Marley's contract. He is just under this contract to impress and hopefully earn a deal with the, either the Marley's or straight up with the Maple Leafs. Doubtful, straight up, but you know, could play very well. Constantini last season played the majority of his or played all of his games with the Hamilton Bulldogs of the OHL and was in the Memorial Cup and a 913 save percentage through the OHL playoffs and a 917 save percentage in 45 games with the Hamilton Bulldogs last season in the OHL, which led all goaltenders in save percentage in the age in the OHL, which is very good. So a great guy to have, I think, at this tournament. Next up here, and these rosters, as far as lines are concerned. The only the top two forward lines have been confirmed by the team and the players. I don't know what else the lines are going to be, so it's just highly speculative. And I just want to get out the rosters here. I'm not trying to put together lines really here. But left D, we have Philip Crawl and Will Villeneuve. Both guys are Leaf draft picks. Philip Crawl was a fifth round pick of the Maple Leafs back in 2018, 149th overall. Spent all his season last year with the Toronto Marlies. So he's part of this team. He had 21 points. He played pretty well, as far as I remember. And William Villeneuve is a former fourth-round pick in 2020, 122nd overall. And he played in St. John's. St. John's Sea Dogs last year at the QMJHL. And as a defenseman, had 56 points in 64 games played. Next pairing I have here is Miko Kokkinen and Axel Rindell. Miko Kokkinen, third round pick in 2019, 84th overall. It's 5'11 left shot. Played played in Finland a ton in his life, all the way back, you know, in, in, for Ukrit in the Liga and Mestis leagues. Last year played 11 games with the Toronto Marlies. Sorry, in 2020, 21 played 11 games with the Marlies. Last year actually played with the Pelicans in Liga at 58 uh, games over there and 15 points. So he's going to get some action here in the AHL this year. Axel Rindell is another Finnish defenseman. Name doesn't sound Finnish, but he is. Uh, he's born in Espoo, Finland. 
He is a sixth round pick, 177th overall in 2020. He's a right shot D. He's a legitimate dual threat guy. He played in Eucharist and Carpat last year. Uh, 16 games in Eucharist. Was an assistant captain, five points. Uh, all of them assists. And Carpat, 26 games, had one goal, 11 assists for 12 points. So pretty good in a men's league. And uh, yeah, played in the, the playoffs, for, I just realized, for the uh, Carpat U20 team, where he had five goals and three assists. So um, tells you a little bit more about him there. Our third pair here, Casper Larson, who is another one of the Leafs invitees to this. He's not under contract. Casper Larson is six foot six. He's a massive player. He's Danish, 19 years old, 231 pounds left shot. Played for the Mississauga Steelheads last season in the OHL in 57 games. Had 43 points, eight of them goals. Pretty good. And played in Denmark in the U20. Uh, Division one tournaments for that. So he's a, he's a big boy. He's pretty mobile for as, as big as he is, as far as I remember. I watched a little bit of the OHL last season. And, you know, didn't stand out to me as slow anyway. Tommy Miller, I have on his right here. He's 23 years old, so he's an older guy, rookie. Uh, six foot two, right shot defenseman. He was playing for Northeastern University last season. 39 games over there, had nine points, one goal. So pretty good for a. Uh, for a college guy, he is signed to a Marley's contract. He was signed in March of 2022, a one-year AHL contract. So we'll get some games with the Marley's this year and see where he goes. Uh, maybe ends up with the Leafs contract at the start of next season. And our fourth guys to round it out here, we have Noah Van Vliet and Marshall Riffey. Uh, Van Vliet, or Van Vliet, apologies if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Six foot two. 205 pound left shot defenseman played in uh, a few places last year. He played in the NAHL with El Paso five points over there. He played in the OHL with the Hamilton Bulldogs for 11 games, including 17 playoff games. And he also played for the Halliburton Huskies of the OJHL. So he played kind of everywhere last season, including the top junior league in, in Ontario, the OHL. So Curious player, he's another guy that's signed to a tryout deal and not an actual contract. So we'll see if he impresses anybody, but we'll see. I have him on the, the fourth pairing, but like I said, these aren't confirmed at this point to who's playing with who. And just to round this out, we have Marshall Riffey, six foot one left shot defenseman. I have him here on the right side because there's too many left shot defensemen. He played at Harvard last year. Smart kid, NCAA, 35 games there, had 13 points, five of them goals. Could be a player. Could be another guy that um, yeah, plays a little bit of minutes here for the Marlies this year. He is starting to sign to a Marlies contract again on the, uh, in March of 2022. Signed a one-year contract. Yeah. Played in Harvard, so he's a smart kid. There's a few Harvard guys on Toronto, I realized. I think Alex Kerfoot is also a, a Harvard alum. Anywho, moving on to the forwards. And these are the forwards that we know going into the game tonight who are playing with who we have alex steves fraser minton and nick robertson alex steves played for the maple leafs last season he's an un undrafted signee leaf signed him last season he played three games for the maple leafs had one assist but he had a great marley season in 58 games had 23 goals and 23 assists for 46 points with the marlies fraser minton is our was our first pick the leafs first pick in the previous draft that just ended 2022 draft he was drafted 38th overall by toronto he was the guy he was the pick we got from chicago in that pick flip that sent peter morazic to chicago if anyone was curious how we got it 67 games 20 goals 35 assists 55 points if you want a more deep dive into fraser minton i made a video on the channel of all the like deep diving with video of all the Leafs prospects that they or sorry not prospects is a prospect the draftees that they just picked in last year's draft Fraser Minton you can hear about him over there and Nick Robertson right winger here but he's a left winger I have him on the right side our second round pick 53rd overall in 2019 he's been at this tournament a couple times he's an older kid now 
He played 10 games for the Maple Leafs last season, had one goal, 28 games, had 16 goals in the Marlies last year, which is a 40-goal pace. He's borderline already a Leaf. I, I'm so I'm almost certain that he's going to crack the lineup for a good chunk of the NHL season this year. We'll see. Starts here, though, though for him. Get some reps in, shake off that rust from the offseason, and uh, hit NHL training camp running. Continuing on, we have we this is the uh, second line that we know is playing together, at least to start the tournament. Nick Abruzzese, Simeon Durar-Gachensev, and Curtis Douglas. Two smaller guys standing next to the biggest guy on the team. We'll start with Nick Abruzzese, who's 5'9". He played nine games for the Maple Leafs last season, and he played in the Olympics. If you remember, he played uh, four games and had four points for Team USA at the Olympics. Um, Nick Abruzzese, smaller guy, but uses, uses that uh, to his advantage a lot. I liked him as a fourth liner for the Leafs last year. I think he'll probably be playing mostly with the Marlies this season, at least at the start of the year, just to get some more reps in because he went right to Toronto and played nine games. So he'll probably get some reps in at the pro level at the uh, Toronto Marlies. Semyon Durag-Gachensev was a 2018 pick, third round, 76 overall. He's 22 now. He's filled out. When we drafted him, he was like, he looked like a 12-year-old. He, he does look, you know, bigger now. He's 5'10". He's listed at 165 pounds. I think when we drafted him, he was like 120. He was a skinny kid. Uh, Marley's last year, 51 games, 32 points. Not bad. He was the team's second line center, if I remember correctly, and did really well. Um, and hopefully he's played with Nick Robinson forever, played with him in Peterborough, so hopefully they have to come up together in the NHL sooner or later. Player I am super interested in. And they have him on the right side, but they'll probably switch Dora Gachensev and Douglas uh, for face-offs, depending on the situation. Curtis Douglas is six foot nine. He's listed on Hockey DB as six foot nine, two hundred thirty-eight pounds, and he can skate a little bit, which is not something you hear about big players. You just think they're big, bumbling little, you know, punch face punchers. But he's not. He's a good player. He was a fourth-round pick in 2018 by the Dallas Stars. The Leafs uh, signed him after he played 11 games with the Belleville Senators, I think, as a free agent after they wasn't tendered, I think. Can't remember. Uh, 67 games last year for the Marlies. Had a pretty good year. 13 goals, 21 assists, 34 points. He was a Windsor Spitfire. And like I said, he's six foot nine. There's something about that that just was like, hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if he had a little outside shot at making the Toronto Maple Leafs just because he can skate, he can take face-offs, he's strong, he's six foot nine. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. There are not a lot of players like him in the NHL. On to the third line here. I have Pontus Holmberg on the left side of Braden Kressler and Max Alex Ellis. Pontus Holmberg... Uh, won the playoff MVP, I believe, for his Swedish team when they won the playoffs uh, a couple years ago now. Left winger, 2018 sixth round pick, 156 overall. He's 23. He's on the older side. So he's going to start to you know come over to the Marlies now that he's played in the SHL as an adult. He had 41 points in 46 games last year. He's probably He had four points in six games in the Marlies. And he also played in the Olympics, so he had a busy year last year, so he'll probably, I think, they want to bring him over to the Marlies, see what he has over here. Braden Kressler was a guy they signed last season. He's on the smaller side. He's five foot nine, right-hand shot, undrafted, was signed by Toronto, like I said. Played 28 games for the Flint Firebirds last season at 16 points, and he had 10 points in 17 games in the playoffs. Max Ellis. Is another smaller forward that the Leafs signed out of the University of Notre Dame, and have played two games on the Marlies last year, but uh, in 39 games in Notre Dame at 28 points. So another older NCAA player. Why not bring a couple of those guys in? On the fourth line, I have Pavel Gogolev, Ty Voit, and Pano Fimis. Pavel Gogolev has been with the Marlies for a few years now. He's left winger. He's six foot one. He played in the Guelph Storm back when they won the OHL Championship a few years ago. Um, played in ECHL and the AHL for the Marlies and Growlers last season. Had eight points in 31 games for the Marlies. Had 20 
points in 14 games for the Growlers. Um, more success in the ACHL, more games in the AHL. I want him to see him take a little bit of a step here. He had 96 points in 63 games in his final year at the Guelph Storm, which is incredible. So I want to see him push a little bit more for his offense this season with the Marlies. Uh, he won't be a guy that even has an outside chance to make it with the Leafs. I want to see him push in the AHL. We have Ty Voigt here, who's a fifth-round pick, 153 overall. Uh, 5'10", plays a little smaller, but he's fast. He's a good skater, great acceleration. Played for the Sarnia Sting last season, 67 games, had 80 points for them. You know, American-born, fast skater, could be an interesting guy in a few years. Pano Femis, he's another guy. He's another one of the invitees um, to this draft from Richmond Hill, Ontario. 5'11", 176 pounds, right-hand shot. Played for the Niagara Ice Dogs last season and had a terrible time. Was borderline a first-round pick at the start of the year and fell all the way through the draft and did not end up being drafted. Uh, so they, the Leafs have brought him a couple PTOs, and why not? Why not bring a guy like this to a tryout, see what he has, and then maybe, I wouldn't be surprised, the Leafs sign him to an entry-level deal if they like him and they just... You know, scoop up a guy who, in my opinion, just had an off year because the OHL season got canceled the year before and his development was kind of buggered for a year. I think he's going to come into this year on fire, and I think he's going to prove to a lot of people that you shouldn't have passed on me in the draft. And I think the Leafs are going to get a little bit of a steal with this player. And finally, we have four players, so we squooshed one guy in on the end here on our graphic. Brandon Lazowski, Graham Slaggart. And Avery Hayes and Sean McGurn. Uh, like I said, these aren't really past the first two forward lines. These aren't really lines. These are just where yeah, they would slot in what on whatever line they were on. Brandon Lizowski, the 2022 draft. So the draft that just happened. He was a seventh round pick. He slipped all the way to the seventh round and we got him. 68 games at 33 goals. Like I said, if you want any more information, or video on the prospects that the Leafs just drafted in the 2022 draft. There is, I will link that video in the description if you want to see that. We have Graham Slaggart, who is the brother of Landon Slaggart, who was a top pick a couple, uh, was either last year or the season before. 23 years old. He was a University of Notre Dame guy again, 39 goals and 25 points. And was he? No, he wasn't. Avery Hayes, and Sh I was just confirming who was on tryouts. So it's Avery Hayes and Sean McGurn who are on tryouts, the guys on the right side here. Uh, Avery Hayes with the Hamilton Bulldogs last season. Uh, had 41 goals in 66 games or 79 points. It's fairly solid as a 19-year-old. And Sean McGurn played with the London Knights. He's 20 years old, so he's that overage now. He had in 66 games, 20 goals, 53 assists for 73 points. So decent little players to bring in and see what they have and go from there. But that'll be it. Those are the players who will play in this prospect tournament in Traverse City. I'm recording this not too long before the start of the game against Dallas, so I want to go watch that. I'm excited to go see it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more some more dope hockey content. It's not just Leafs on this channel. Get in the comments, bug if you're a Sens fan here, rip you know to to rip rip the Leafs. Let Alex know, he'll to to do a Sens version of this video. I wanted him to do it, but I don't. Need, we're not. They're not in this tournament, so it's very confusing. Anyway, thanks so much. Have a good one. Peace.